Hello, guten Morgen, and welcome to the latest episode of my vlog. I wasn't going to do a vlog episode on this trip to Germany, but sometimes you get something so beautiful I just want to share with all my viewers. We're here in Gripnitzi, which is near Potsdam, sort of 30 kilometers outside Berlin to the southwest. And this is what I wake up to in the morning. This is Germany in the autumn. So peaceful. And that's the hotel I'm staying at. That's where I have breakfast. And this is what I wake up to. They've had some very sharp frosts of late. It's not particularly cold this morning. As you can see, I'm not wearing much at all. I'm only wearing two layers. But autumn has well and truly set in. The trees have shed their leaves. Lots of leaves on the ground. And it's truly beautiful. This was in fact my second trip to Potsdam. And I've been there twice this year because I'm currently in a German film called Jim Knopf and Lucas the Locomotive Führer. And back when I filmed this on my first visit to Potsdam in October, it was a lot warmer. But on my second visit in November, autumn had well and truly set in. Potsdam is a city of contrasts. Sometimes you see some things which are so classical, so lovingly preserved. To show you the rich German tradition and history. Here in the centre of Potsdam. And then you have some really, really brutal, ugly, communist era architecture that just screams DDR! East Germany! Communism! Ah! But there you have it all next to each other, within touching distance. And someone decided, yeah, we're gonna build something that ugly next to this. Go figure, East Germany. The Church of St. Nicholas is one of the most prominent landmarks in all of Potsdam. It was completed in 1850. What you see today, however, is a reconstruction as it was heavily damaged in World War II. I always knew the contrast between the old and the new was great in Germany, but here in Potsdam is just brutal. Whatever made the communists think that this was going to look good? Next to that. I'm hopping on on a point, but that, next to that. Compare and contrast. East Germany, old Germany. You may stick a statue in there, but that's not going to make this look any prettier. Go figure. East Germany. I suppose I do have a morbid fascination with the former East Germany and what life was like under the communist regime back in the bad old days of the Cold War. And in fact, I'm old enough to remember the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and I lived through the 80s. The St. Peter's and Paul's Church was completed in 1870 and like so many other churches in the region, it was heavily damaged in World War II and has been restored since. The Dutch Quarter in Potsdam is another popular tourist attraction. In this area, you will find the biggest collection of Dutch-style buildings outside the Netherlands. It is also very close to Nauwenator, another major landmark in Potsdam, this black brick gate. It is currently autumn in Germany, Herbst, as we say in German. The leaves take on this beautiful golden brown hue when the first nighttime frosts occur, typically around November, and they will fall off the trees on windy days. Park San Susi is one of the most popular attractions here in Potsdam. Now, this footage was actually taken in October when the park was still very green and you could still admire all the beautiful artworks and the statues. They actually cover up the statues in winter to prevent them from frost damage as it can get awfully cold here during the winter months. The trees and the shrubs also lose the majority of their leaves and it can look a bit grey and depressing here in the winter but I'm so glad I got to visit Park Sansusi back in October when it was still reasonably warm. Completed in 1747, Sansusi is the former summer palace of Frederick the Great. 
It is often compared to the Versailles Palace just outside Paris, and having been to both, I think I prefer the Versailles. In fact, Sanssouci is not at all a German name. It is a French name, and it means without worries. It is free to visit Sanssouci Park and the terraced gardens, but you have to pay a small fee to visit the interior. We're here in Park Sanssouci. The last time I was here, we didn't make it all the way to Neu Palace, which is at the far end of this path because we simply ran out of time. And I'm determined to make it there today. I didn't think I was going to try to come here because it was just pouring with the rain earlier, but the rain has stopped. And I thought, okay, I've got enough time. But it turns out I have to walk rather quickly because it's a lot further than I thought. Look, I came all the way from back there. Still have that far to go. <sighs> At least the air is fresh. Germany in the autumn. I had to walk 1.7 kilometers to get from Sanssouci to the new palace. That's it, we made it. That's the new palace. Or as the name suggests, the new palace. Amazing how close to English German can be sometimes. So they've got a few statues to spare. I wonder if I can get one for my garden. Still at the new palace. This place is immense. I can't believe we turned back and gave up on trying to visit this the last time. But yes, well worth walking 1.7 kilometers from the beginning of the park to get here. Even though it's a wet day, weekday in autumn, still plenty of tourists. Completed in 1769, the new palace is absolutely immense and a lot bigger than Sanssouci Palace. I do wonder why Sanssouci gets all the attention when the new palace is a lot bigger and in my opinion a lot more interesting. Located in the corner of Sanssouci Park is the Friedenskirche, or in English, the Church of Peace. Completed in 1854, the structure resembles a high medieval Italian monastery and it is a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Palaces and Parks of Potsdam and Berlin. Many people actually rush by this little church, not noticing it at all, when on their way to Sanssouci Palace, which is very nearby, but do take a moment and visit this place. It's gorgeous. Now, no one would actually go all the way to Germany just to visit Potsdam. It is very close to Berlin, so if you happen to be in Berlin, and if you have seen everything you wanted to see in Berlin, then why not take a day trip to Potsdam? It is just 30 minutes on the S-Bahn from Berlin, and it is a really good place for a day trip. So that's it from me in Potsdam. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my vlog. Many thanks for watching. Dankeschön. Tschüss. Ja, wir sagen doch,